Welcome back. Last week we learned about what enterprise systems are, what they do and so on. We then went ahead and looked at some justification for why all of you really need to learn to understand some of the topics we are going to be talking about in this course. And then we looked at the individual components in an enterprise system. Specifically, we looked at a web-based enterprise system and then we looked at the technical components and noted that in this course we are going to be talking about several parts of that architecture. We'll be learning first of all how to use SQL to retrieve information, store and retrieve information into uh, from a relational database. Then we also said we are going to be learning about how the databases for enterprise systems are actually designed. In fact, you will learn the whole design process itself. And finally, we look at how to put together all of this in the form of a working web application. So first of all, in this week's course, in this week's topics, we'll be starting to learn about SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, which is the standard language that is used to interface with a relational database. And of course, don't forget that a relational database, although the name sounds fancy, is nothing but a way of organizing the data in the form of a set of tables, just like the basketball database that we saw in the last week's assignments. That's a relational database. But of course, when your data is really large, you won't be able to find the answers just by looking at the data because there are thousands and thousands of rows. So we'll be using the computer. We'll store the data in a MySQL database and then we'll learn how to write SQL queries or structured query language queries to extract information. Okay, so as the name indicates, structured query language is a computer language. But you'll find that it's pretty easy to pick up. Believe me, structured query language or the knowledge of structured query language comes in really handy. In fact, just yesterday I received an email from one of my students from a couple of years back and uh, he is currently a supply chain manager in a, in a company in Pennsylvania and he said that he's using SQL on a daily basis to extract all kinds of information. And I've had the same kind of response from accounting students and a number of other students that I have taught, right? Because all the data is in a relational database in most of the, in all organizations almost. And when you need to look at something for which there's no standard structured system available, then you go in and extract whatever information you need by using SQL, right? So learning SQL or uh, understanding SQL and putting that as one of your skills in your resume can only help. No matter whether you're going to take a job in IT, of course, for IT, that's, that's gold. It's really useful. But even for others, it's a significant plus. So uh, I think you'll find this week's and the subsequent couple of weeks classes on SQL to be uh, interesting, easy to understand, and also extremely useful. Okay, so I encourage you to jump in and get the most out of it. Enjoy.